Gemini singles, welcome to Divine Conversations. Welcome to this general reading for you. We're gonna get into some love messages for you. This is uh, intended to be for singles out there. You could resonate with this if you are kind of interacting with someone, associated with someone, but if that's the case, then it's most likely something you would consider a situationship. We're gonna get into this, yeah? Please keep in mind, this is general, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Gemini. Also, we absolutely could be talking to a cross watcher here, yeah? All right, guys, for Gemini singles, let's, go on, let's, let's see what's going on. What's going on for Gemini singles, please? We have romantic feelings, all right. So we do definitely have a situation, and that's funny because the first thing that I was picking up on was that even though um, this is intended for singles, this could definitely resonate for someone who is in a situationship or has feelings for someone already. Um, I'm wondering if the feelings are mutual. Uh, okay, the feelings for, here's the thing. The feelings are mutual, but what I'm hearing is somebody is, well, no, both of you are holding back for some reason. Um, I do feel like it's out of fear. I feel like there are some past circumstances or situations that kind of have you or having you or this person being a bit cagey about the situation. Don't necessarily want to um, be open about your feelings about this situation. There could be another person in the way. Oh, we have engagement ring. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, com completion, and union. But I'm wondering if the romantic feelings that you have for this person are um, or the person that you have these romantic feelings for, I wonder if they're engaged or I wonder if you're engaged. But then the next card you have here is cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Okay, so this actually may be a blockage because of the fact that um, you were engaged to someone in the past um, and that didn't go so well. Maybe you've been married in the past. Um, But currently in this situation, I feel like maybe, ah, it's okay. So, so a level of engagement here, um, partnership, commitment, it doesn't necessarily have to be that you officially want to get married to someone, but the engagement ring also could just represent commitment. So this is definitely a situation in which we have um, some sort of, uh, okay, all right. Okay, uh, we have some sort of situationship going on here for you, Gemini. And what I heard was commitment, uh, not commitment, um, codependency issues seem to be in the way, fear of codependency. Um, it, it could very well be that someone doesn't, someone doesn't want to commit in this situation because for whatever reason, they feel like making that commitment or committing to someone is some sort of codependent situation. But I feel like that is a cop out. I feel like that is a reason not to commit. I feel like that's a reason to not settle down in a situation, not make a commitment, not make a solid commitment. I'm getting that like something like you've been seeing this person off and on or for a while, but um, when the topic of who are we to each other or what is this situation, when that comes up, that's when the commitment issues come, come out. That's when the fear of codependency comes out, that's that level of toxicity. But that is an old and outdated way of thinking. Cassette, okay? Let's go deeper. What's going on for Gemini in this situation? For my Gemini singles or situationships, we have the first card you have is the Hermit. Um, this person really likes to be on their own. They really like their independence, but there is also a level of introspection that is needed here. Next card you have is the Eight of Wands and then the Queen of Wands. All right, so here's the thing, Gemini. Um, it could very well be that the person that is, see, look, this is all about commitment here. And then the overall energy is the Hierophant. Um, your situation could open up Gemini, or maybe cross watcher. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini that has commitment issues. Uh, but you're, whomever this really would resonate the most for, whether it's the Gemini or the cross watcher, I understand that there is a level here of you saying, or this other person saying to you, or you saying to this person, or feeling like they need to 
be more honest with themselves about who it is they are and what it is they want or they need to go and look within and clean up their act and you know do all this self-work energy but really i feel like that's mostly a projection because i regardless as to whether it's with this person or with you find you find this commitment with this person or you find it with another person what would really be helpful to you in this situation right now is for you to go within you to understand what your sense of commitment issues are because if you are regardless of who this is the gemini or the cross watcher but if you are allowing yourself or keeping yourself aligned with someone that has commitment issues and seemingly trying to like force the situation or something like that then really what would be best for you is to go within and look at what your alignment is with this type of energy if because when you do that Gemini or cross watcher that's when the floodgates will open eight of wands that's when you will be able to move forward towards a situation that will bring you commitment because it is either it is exactly what it is you want queen of wands or like what it is you want to be in alignment with or ultimately it will help you get into alignment with a level of commitment that you desire okay but see Overall energy is the Hierophant, but underneath that Hierophant energy is the Five of Pentacles. There is a lack mentality here. Feelings of unworthiness. You can't, you can't feel, you, you can't want to be in alignment with a commitment. You can't want to have a commitment with someone, but then not feel worthy of it. That sense of worthiness or lack of worthiness here is what keeps you aligned with an individual that also reflects that same energy. But I feel like that individual is reflecting that energy in terms of, I don't even want commitment. I don't understand commitment. Commitment isn't even, it's not even worth it. It's, it's a sham, blah, 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 this, that, and the third, whatnot, whatever. And look, I'm not trying to tell anybody, you know, who, the, who it is they should be or what it is they should feel. Um, polyamory is a thing. But even in this is a tangent, but even in the sense of polyamory, there is still a level of commitment that is necessary if you're if you're going to have a healthy relationship with someone, regardless as to whether you feel uh, you feel like it's you you are in alignment with having multiple partners or whatnot, whatever. There still needs to be a level of commitment to honor and respect the relationship or relationships that you have with other people. So it's not even about the polyamory thing. I don't know where that came from, but it's not even about that. It's about you understanding what your misalignment is when it comes to commitment, when it, ha when it comes to having a committed partner, however that specifically looks for you, okay? And a commitment doesn't, uh, someone else's commitment, okay. Okay, what I wanted to say now is someone else's sense of commitment doesn't have to be the same thing for you. But you need to understand the hermit. You need to go within, find your own inner light, find your own inner truth in terms of what commitment would look like for you. What would be the best alignment for you to be in to draw or attract that commitment in for you? And when you do that, that will open the floodgates. It, it seems it's like it'll come just either it'll just come rushing towards you or all of a sudden, boop, there it is right there in front of you. But what, what hit me that way was the higher, we have at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant to the Five of Pentacles and then the Three of Cups and the Nine of Swords. It seems that your ideal type of commitment is dependent on what others think. And because maybe it's you or this person that you're connecting to. And because your idea or, your, or this person's idea of what a commitment should look like doesn't align with the collective, doesn't align with other people around you, doesn't align with some sort of hive mind mentality, three of cups, that's what's causing the fear. But in order to change that, you're gonna have to change your alignment, page of wands. You're gonna have to change the way that you show up in the world, that you express yourself. You're going to have to change what it is you say is right for you in order to receive that return, in order for you to receive what it is you're actually looking for. And I feel like for some of you here that are resonating with this reading, I feel like that's gonna take you to a whole other person, potentially. Okay, let's clarify a little bit more. Clarify the hermit, please. Let's clarify the hermit. The devil. Fear. Toxicity. 
codependency. See, the devil is the energy of, uh, officially the, the devil would represent codependency. It's not codependent to want to commit to something or someone. But for you, Gemini, or this person that you're aligning with right now, they see commitment as some sort of confinement. It may be, it may be that the, le the type of commitment that they are being pushed or you are being pushed to accept may actually really not be ideal for you or this person. Clarify the hermit, please. Next, we have the four of wands. Okay, so this person could absolutely, or you could absolutely have had some sort of situation as a child in your home and family life that really made, created this toxic view of commitment. You could have had like your parents may have gotten divorced or there was some sort of really awful dynamic between mother and father or just your parents, whether you're a father, father and father or mother and mother, who cares? It doesn't matter. Um, and then with this, you have the king of swords. Okay, so this could be a situation where in the past you watched your father really abuse your mother or um, there was a situation in which um, your, um, or maybe you were in a really abusive situation in the past with someone who was just lacking in emotional um, awareness or emotional, uh, or the ability to be emotional or allow the emotions to flow. But what the hermit is really, regardless as to what this is specifically for you, what the hermit is saying here is you've got to get very clear and objective in terms of what your foundation is, what your beliefs are in terms of this toxicity, whether you see commitment as an extreme form of codependency or just like whatever this is. This devil energy could also represent your toxic attachment to an individual that is not ideal for you. Say you're like, say you're a very emotional person or you're, you're a very um, loving person or you're a very, a, a very um, uh, emotionally aware person or like, or your emotions just flow or you're a very affectionate person or something like that, but you're aligning with or you're trying to force the issue, overall energy is the Knight of Swords, force the issue with someone who just does not align with that. Well, that's not a problem that they necessarily have to fix. What would be, like I said, when the Hermit originally came out, what would be more important here is you understanding what your attachment is to this individual and shifting that. When you come to an understanding of that, your situation will flow. But I feel like somebody here is, is in a state, a mind state of um, outdated thinking that is keeping them attached to someone that either isn't ready for a commitment or that it's just not the best alignment for you or them. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands here. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Gemini singles. Four of Swords reversed. You gotta clear your mind. You've gotta clear out this outdated thinking. You've gotta clear out this cassette tape. You've gotta go through the, um, I'm hearing emotional awareness. You have to allow yourself to be, be really honest with yourself, like clear your mind, clear out all, like meditate or just go on a retreat or do something to help you clear out this outdated thinking. That's what's gonna help move this situation along for you. But that doesn't necessarily mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that moving this situation along for you is going to keep you with this specific person. Yeah, clarifying the Eight of Wands, you have the Four of Swords reversed, the King of Pentacles, and then the Seven of Cups. The King of Pentacles would represent an individual that is really in, wants a commitment or is willing to be committed. Okay, the King of Pentacles, or the Pentacles suit is an Earth suit. Um, represents Taurus, but this Earth suit would be commitment, physical commitment, okay? Because if you're gonna do anything with the earth, you gotta stay, or, or physical, tangible things, you gotta stay committed to it to, to allow it to grow and develop. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, um, 
Virgo is in the Hermit, Capricorn is in the Devil, Aquarius or another air sign, Gemini or Libra uh, with the King of Swords. You could be also dealing with a Taurus or maybe you're looking for a Taurus or maybe you're looking for someone. You're looking for someone who is committed, but there, but then there's, there's confusion surrounding it. Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups represents this, is also representative of this cassette energy, this outdated thinking. You could also be dealing with um, an Aries or a Leo here or another Earth, a fire sign, Sagittarius with this Queen of Wands. But also the Queen of Wands represents your best alignment here. Overall energy clarifying the Eight of Wands is the Temperance card. More uh, Sagittarius energy, more Sagittarius energy. This Eight of Wands could also represent Sagittarius. But um, you gotta find, you've got to find a sense of inner balance. You've got to clear, you've got to allow yourself, allow your mind to be clear enough, Gemini or cross watcher, to understand what it is you truly want out of a commitment. Because right now, what's going on with, in terms of commitment here, you've got all kinds of confusion, outdated thinking, or maybe even conflicting thoughts and or feelings. And in order for you to settle this situation for yourself, whether it is actually being with this specific person and maybe changing or realigning what it is you consider to be a commitment, what your definition of a commitment would be, or what a commitment should be in terms of this situation, or you've got to understand what you want in a commitment altogether so that you can clear up and remove yourself from this this, this um, um, attachment so that you can allow the individual that would be able to match this level or of commitment or this type of commitment you're looking for so that you can allow this person to come into your life so that you can have the open space for that person to come into your life. That would really truly align with the proper level of commitment for you. That's where this balance is coming into play here. This is really, this is, I understand some of you are like, well, they've got to get their shit together because like they don't know, they don't even know who they are, but that's just as toxic and that's projection. What would be better for you is because you, you don't have any control over that or whatever they do, right? Or however it is they feel or however, however it is they approach the situation. You do have control over yourself. So instead of, say, instead of projecting that energy, it would be better for you to turn around and be like, whoa, let me look in the mirror real quick, right? And I don't mean, I don't, I'm not saying that to like disrespect you or like throw shade on you or like whatever. I'm, I'm saying this because we're trying to get you into the proper alignment for the commitment that you want. Clarify the Queen of Wands, please, for Gemini. Eight of Cups. The dominant feeling here is that someone's just going to have to walk away from this situation that you've been trying to work on because it's not the proper alignment for you. My windows are open, so you're gonna, you, I'm sure you've heard them already, but there are, are wild chickens and roosters, so you're probably gonna hear them just like now. But that was a synchronicity right there. This is a wake-up call for someone. What it is you really want, you're not in the proper alignment with. But in order to understand that, you're gonna have to go within and understand yourself, understand what it is you truly want. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Ooh, there they are. Ooh, okay, you got three more cards. Strength, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Magician. Yep, okay. And then overall energy here for you is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, okay? Yeah, you're, you're trapped, but it's because of what's going on in your mind. It's because of what you are expecting the commitment to be. I feel like somebody here is, has an idea of what commitment should be, probably because of social conditioning, and they found somebody that they want that commitment with, but now that person may not necessarily align with that level or that type of commitment or commitment at all. And instead of letting go and being like, all right, well, I'm gonna go find someone else that is involved or it does, does wanna get involved, instead they're trying to force the issue. Queen of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Cups, Strength, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Magician. In order for you or this person to get into the proper alignment with what it is you want out of commitment or in a commitment, you're gonna have to have, you're gonna have, to have the strength to look at the situation for what it truly is. Seven of Pentacles, look at what you're actually getting here. What is your harvest here? And have the strength to ask yourself the question, Two of Wands, 
to make a decision in terms of can I even get that level of commitment here? Or am I trying to needlessly force the issue? You are gonna have to have the strength. You're gonna have to literally hold your ego back enough to be real and honest with yourself, to choose, to look at the situation and say to yourself, I have what I have here, it's not what I want, but in reality, can I even get what I want in this situation? Or is it, even, or is it like I just heard, or is it a non-starter? And if it's a non-starter, then have the strength to walk away because that is how you're going to be able to manifest what it is that you want here, okay? All right, we're, try we're literally trying to break you out of this Eight of Swords energy, out of this mental prison, out of this confinement. Somebody here wants someone else to be real with themselves, but really what's best for you is to be real with yourself. That's the way you get what it is that you want. By putting yourself, by being real and honest with yourself about what it is you want, what it is you have in front of you, what are your harvestables here, and then making the proper decision to put yourself in the proper position to receive what it is you actually want. Because you are worthy of it. Regardless as to what your view of or what your idea of or what a commitment should be versus what someone else's says, it doesn't matter. You are allowed to have what it is you truly want but you have to be able to put yourself in the proper position to receive it instead of trying to force it out of someone that doesn't want to hear it, basically. Okay. I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. But with that said, I love you. And I hope you have a great day. Yeah? Cool. Bye.